Hello, welcome to day two of your virtual learning and the end of my quarantine. Is that just not ironic? It's going to be almost a month until I get to see you. Would you like to look into a day uh, in the life of my quarantine? This is what a typical day of me being at home with my boys and now Hannah sounds like. So I know it's hard to be at home. I have been living that life for the last two weeks. So we are in this together. We got each other's back. We did this before Christmas and at around Thanksgiving time, we can do it again. So look down here at the bottom of the screen. It's opposite me. Here we go. You need to daily, every single day when you wake up after you've uh, eaten your breakfast, check your email, check your Google Classroom. And then some of you learned towards the end of our virtual time last time, it's smart to write yourself down a schedule, to kind of like a to-do list, including your assignments that might be due, assignments that have been assigned to you that day, Google Meets that you have, and anything that is due or coming due. Um, even with your Google Meets that you have, it's really hard because, you know, your classes are meeting at really weird and funky times, like 12, 14 or something crazy like that. So you might want to make use of your cell phones or a timer of some sort and set yourself a timer to go off so that you're not late or tardy for some of your Google Meets. I know last time a lot of kids didn't show up to their Google Meets just simply because they forgot about them. And your teachers are counting that, not just as attendance, but they're also counting that as a major portion of your grades this time. So make sure you're showing up for those. All right, so check your email, check your Google Classroom, and then get yourself organized. Write things down, uh, keep yourself organized. I'm gonna be available again, uh, just like I was last time, meeting with sixth grade, being available during uh, study skills as well. And I'm gonna get Mrs. Mayfield on board like last time, except I'm gonna get her on board right from the beginning so that she'll be available for seventh grade as well. I'm going back to school on Monday, uh, with elementary, so I will be doing this remote thing for you from my elementary classroom. So we've got this, you know what to do, and we've got this together. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.